diversions that are taking place due to, to you know, making Mumbai a better city. We got a little late. Um, really apologies. We're not usual late Latifs. Um, thanks, Anshul. And just Vishal, that was a great introduction. I'm very humbled. Um, firstly, thank you for thinking about us. I think we go beyond just um, being friends. I think we, you know, like what we both do, appreciate what we both do. I think being good, kind, humble human beings is our first mission in life, our first purpose and goal in life. And um, I mean, uh, I've really never been in the eye of media. I, um, I'm still called Malika when my name is Malaika. And I kind of like to be being unknown still, right? I mean, what's in a name? But yeah, I still can walk around and no one recognizes me and I love that. So I do have my, a lot of my privacy. Um, yeah, so I think it's quite easy. You have a choice whether you want to be in the eye of uh, the storm of media, however you want to name it, or you can still have your privacy because um, there's a thin line, right, between how much you want to share of, of your life and how much you're okay and willing to let people know. And I think we as humans, I think all of us are capable of doing it. There's nothing special about it or there's no textbook or no kind of, oh, I've got it all right. I'm still learning. I make my mistakes. And, you know, it's fun about everything. I mean, all of us are celebrities in our own rights, right? So, yeah. I think you're making it sound a lot less uh, <laughs> effort than it really is because it is a lot of effort. It is a lot of effort to be a power couple like this and still have your own space and still, you know, really support each other. So, I'm humbled to us well, um, very much. Firstly, thank you, Vishal. Thank you, Ashal. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's a real honor and a pleasure to be here. International Women's Day, so we were just having some chitter chatter on the way to the elevator, Vishal and me. And we said, uh, do we still live in a 50 50 world where, you know, it's husband 50 and wife 50, or is it uh, 60 40? I said, man, you know, after kids, even if it's 90 10, it's really good. Because. Uh, <laughs> Quite honestly, um, I think one of the main, most important things which I think women are not given enough credit for is something called domestic engineering. Okay. <laughs> and, um, I, I can tell you that if the house and the soul and the heart of the household is not in its right place, I don't think any of us have the guts to go and achieve anything we want out there in the real world. So I want to thank my wife for tolerating me uh, because, um, you know, it's a bit of a paradox actually to be uh, in show business and at the same time not be ostentatious, you know. Um, you have to, you know, be in the limelight. You have to, you know, walk with panache. You've got to talk with, with confidence. You've got to know your stuff. Uh, but at the same time, you know, that's the vulnerability that you're always protecting when you're outside. And uh, it's all right to be vulnerable. It's all right to learn. It's all right to make mistakes. I think uh, Mali and me, we were on our way here. And uh, I, I was reading through what Archer had so sweetly written, 30 years. I was like, Mali, I don't feel that old, man. Like, you know, 30 years, like, I mean, you just blink of an eye and it's just passed. And of course, uh, there have been many speed breakers, uh, and I think that's the, the lovely stuff of life, you know, the, the fact that uh, you do have your arguments, too, you do have your disagreements, uh, and at the same time, you know, we, we sort of realize that we are a team, and, you know, uh, there are certain verticals that I'm very good at, and there are certain verticals she's very good at, and we're just great sounding boards of each other. So uh, thank you for tolerating me, Malaika. I mean, and thank you for saving yourselves because because when he said thirty years, I started looking at myself in my little mirror and I said, "Is it time for Botox? <laughs> Is it time for fillers?" And he's like, "Not at all. <laughs> not at all." I would just detest that. Not not that I have any issue with it, but uh, you, you see, don't I most don't recognize half the celebrities and their recent pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what they used to look earlier. 
Uh, I have this Sorry. question I prepared. I'm going to put it away because I'm really enjoying this and we are just going to go uh, as good. Uh, childhood sweethearts almost. From a relationship perspective, a partnership perspective, I hate to say the word relationship and more partnership. How have you guys kept it together for so many years? And how have you kept the spark alive? You Romance, know, the he love. he starts talking over me, I'd just like to say. I'm <laughs> sure. Um, I think what's most important uh, in any relationship is, um, and I tell people this, and correct me if I'm wrong, um, you know, when we use the, uh, well, the quote, love at first sight, right? I think it's just not about your spouse, your lover, your partner. I think it's about your friends, your chosen family. I mean, I think what love at first sight meant is that, you know, that feeling you get in your stomach, it's not about butterflies. It's about feeling comfort. It's about feeling joy. It's about feeling happiness. And, you know, somewhere where you know that, you know, here somewhere I can just be myself. And you know, here's someone who's my mirror. Here's someone who checks me, who you know is there when I'm down and out. You know, we all are, you know, talking about mental health and are we addressing it? Um, so I think somewhere, I always tell this to my younger friends. Um, and you know, today I'm known in my group. I have friends who are over 50, some of them, and they say, you know, Malika, you're this little. Um, old soul, they call me Dadi Ma, by the way, because, you know, I, I, that's what I tell people that, you know, find someone, you know, it's not about butterflies in your stomach, it's about someone you just want to go, phew, finally, I can be myself. I don't know about you, but I got butterflies in my stomach when I saw her. <laughs> uh, she just ignored me for the first couple of days, uh, but when she, I mean, I really, contrary to the belief of love at first sight, all my sisters had like love marriages and we used to be on these phone calls for hours and I promised myself, I said I'm never going to fall in love because uh, it's just too much effort and before you know it I was at Cody and I see this lady like, you know, her back is towards me and she has lovely brown hair and I, I was listening to a song called uh, You Too uh, Where the Streets Have No Name and when she turned, it was like a halo shampoo ad, you know, uh, for me at least. And uh, I mean, I, I, was, I was zapped. I, I, I just felt that, you know, that's the girl, man. That's the girl I Amazing. feel I can visualize myself be with for the rest of my life. And I had no idea who she was. I nudged a friend of mine. I said, uh, hey, buddy, who is she? Uh, she? He looks at me, he's like, no, 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 don't forget it. She, you know, she's dating somebody. I said, I didn't ask you whether she's dating somebody. I said, who is she? You know? Uh, so then he goes, okay, okay, she's Malaika, this and that. So yeah, for me, uh, it was definitely, uh, I have to say, very, very hard to get your attention. Uh, I had to like, you know, um, I'll tell you a very interesting story, a very, very interesting story. So by the fourth time of trying to propose to her, I had almost given up and I had kind of told a friend of mine who was a common friend, I said, can you introduce us, you know, in some sort of way, because probably I don't have the courage enough or she's not, you know, giving me the vibe or she's giving me the vibe, but then, you know, women, you can't really get them all the time, what vibe they're giving. So um, we both were in environmental science class and she was, uh, I was in, I was like in environmental science class and you know I was walking towards environmental science class and uh, she says hi to me and I just freeze because I'm thinking did she say hi to me or did she say hi to somebody behind me so like I looked behind and there was nobody behind I was like shit and she said hi to me now she's coming out of class and I'm going into that class and I'm doodling away thinking and just telling myself, man, such an idiot, such an idiot, such an idiot. And then all of a sudden, somebody knocks on the door and this friend of hers, I didn't know that it was a friend of hers, called Ayaka. She says, oh, there's a phone call for Zayed from his father in the principal's office. At that time, of course, we didn't have mobile phones. So um, I literally came out of class and there was a shoe flower and I did like a Shah Rukh Khan 
to myself, you know, like, I picked up that shoe flower and I said, she loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. And I'm walking towards this principal's office and then I hear a voice. I, and she says, hi. And I look and it's her and she's sitting like a boss lady, you know. Like, literally like a boss lady. She's sitting out there and I said, hi. She's like, what are you doing? I said, I just have a phone call from my father. I'm going to take it and I'm going to come back immediately. She's like, no, that wasn't your father. That was me. I was like, whoa. Yeah, baby. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, you know, that's, uh, that's, some, that's, some, uh, that's the kind of lady I want to be with. You know, that's the kind of girl I want to be with. So, uh, yeah, that, that happened. And I think uh, quite an interesting journey, like, kind of took place post that. It's time to make a movie on it. <laughs> He goes home and takes up the studies of her student child and then a cribbing husband sometimes, maybe a not so supportive mother-in-law sometimes and continues to do the same day after day. So truly those are the champions and those are the stories that we need to be highlighting. The common Indian woman who multitasks, triple tasks and sometimes does even five tasks together which none of the men can ever do. So I salute every single one of them and my limited piece of advice from my uh, journey and I was speaking at times of India and Delhi and I, at the cost of repeating it, I will repeat it here. I started my career in fashion when I was all of 18 years and I always wanted to enter politics and public life which happened much later. Earned my name, fame, money, hi Parul, at the age of 18 and then went on to um, enter politics much later after I was married and I had my daughter at 30. I had my son after I entered politics and I always joke with my husband. I said that, you know, if I was married to a Dalit and OBC, a scheduled caste, scheduled tribe, politics would have been much easier for me. But having said that, to come home to a confident family that gives you the opportunity to also excel. Ruchita knows my family. So many people here know that you need to acknowledge that. There are, there are so many blood tests, there are sonographies available to gauge your ovarian reserve, your egg quality and quantity. So after the age of 30, if a woman uh, measures her egg quality and quantity by these annual tests, she can definitely not miss the bus and she can go for procedures like egg freezing or embryo freezing and that's how she can even preserve her fertility. Later on, when she does get married, if she can't conceive by the natural route, the frozen eggs or embryos serve as a backup insurance where they can be used when she can complete her family. Um, Akisha, I'd also like to understand that there is a big stigma attached with egg freezing and it's not something that's openly discussed. Uh, we will come back and jump right in and take a bit of on everything. But could you also kind of break that down for us and uh, you know why women feel reluctant to go for such procedures? Yeah, definitely there is. Uh, the stigma is more or less disappeared now. But you know, the whole the idea of society is that if you go back to the earlier trends, everyone feels a couple should get married and should conceive naturally. But it doesn't happen for everyone. Everyone can't get married at the you know the appropriate age, what is there in society norms. People have different plans, you know, everyone has a different time zone in life. There could be someone who's unmarried and successful at 35, and someone who's married and miserable at 35 with kids. So Definitely there should be no stigma, there should be more openness about this. If someone uh, if someone has the facility to freeze their eggs, there should be more awareness and more openness in the families to do this. If somebody has a daughter who's doing very well in her career, who's around 34, 36 and is not married, doesn't have the right partner, what is the harm if she goes and freezes her eggs? If she finds the perfect partner at the age of 39, 42, so what? She can, she can use those eggs that were frozen at 34, 35. A woman's eggs remain as young as the time she froze them. So it's a definitely a very good uh, option for a woman to use. And there's no harm. See, a man can conceive, a man can help a woman conceive even in his late 40s. There is a something called as andropause, just like menopause, but it's much more later and not so pronounced. So a man can get married at 40 and become a father, but a woman after the age of 35 might face a few challenges conceiving naturally. So there's no harm if there's awareness and there's existence of technology where you can freeze your eggs. 
and you know the whole process has been blown out of proportion on how to use it, how it is done, and the injections and the procedures. But it is rather simple actually now. There are so many, so many good fertility centers. The injections aren't intramuscular injections like are you imagining an injection. They are simple subcutaneous injections given in the fat in the thigh or the abdomen. You can even self inject yourself. Simple sonographies can measure the egg quality, the egg size, and you can have an egg retrieval procedure. And your eggs can be frozen for five, seven, even ten years. So, Ankesh, I'm sure that our audience would also have a lot of questions on this. But since we are discussing uh, reproductive health of women, uh, a lot of women, I'm sure, in this room, in terms of also age gap, are the very feared and dreaded menopause. So, can you shed some light on this whole pre peri menopausal phase of women and how we should combat yes. this? Yes, your second part of the question was so nice. So it's not the menopause that fears anyone, that's eventually going to happen. So the average age of menopause is 47 to 51. But there's a little difficult phase around 5, 7, 10 years before that called pre-menopause. So pre-menopause, actual menopause and menopause ke baad jo event hai, that's called entire perimenopause. So pre-menopause can start as early as... Well, I think uh, first I need to congratulate Rachel. To congratulate her because of picking up, having the strength to pick up these events and organizing it on these subjects. Because uh, I think these subjects are very important to break the barriers. Uh, most of these subjects are in four walls, and uh, I think they need to come out. And they need to come out in the open, and everyone needs to be made aware of their rights. They need to be more aware in terms of what exists and opportunity exists for all. Right. And you know, you need to uh, you need to be there to take it on. It's, it's never what if and why. It's always let me try. Yes, yes, and, very uh, well said. You need to you need to move ahead with that and uh, you know Correct. build your own nest and build your own uh, space in this universe because it gives an opportunity to all. And I think uh, first of all, I would like to thank Zayed and Malika to come and remove their time. They've come from a long distance. And that's very sweet of them. And thanks so much for coming here. And I think the after hearing them. The way they have bonded over the years, the last 30 years of the relationship yeah, and their family yeah. and the way Malaika has held the family, taken that forward, the way Rai has taken the forward, uh, forward the legacy, I think it's beautiful. I think these complementing roles, if understood by all in relationships, if this understanding is understood by all, I think it's... I think it's the world is a much better place to live. Yes, this is and true. And I think they are true examples for that. So, yes, it's true. So that's how it... That's all I, I, I just want to say, and I say this to people, um, there are four C's in life. Compromise, communication, comprehension, and compassion. Wonderful. Absolutely. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautifully said. Beautiful. Beautifully said. Thank you. 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 Thank don't expect to do wonders every day. Yeah. Do small things every day and make big differences. Yeah. 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 Hungry, but you have to learn and grow. Yes, yes. You have to learn and grow. Absolutely. Thank you, Thank you so much. You. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank 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 you. असल में बात नहीं कर सकते हैं और जरा अजीब लगता है जब हम बात करते हैं ये सब चीजों कल की बातें हैं और जो आने वाला कल है उसमें विमेन को आधा हिस्सा लेना ही पड़ेगा क्योंकि यार हम लोग ना एक एक कहते हैं पेट्रियाकल सोसाइटी में देखो एनिमल किंगडम को देखो तो पेट्रियाकल सोसाइटी है इंसेक्ट किंगडम को देखो तो मेट्रियाकल सोसाइटी है वहाँ पे सब क्वीन ही चलता है क्वीन बी क्वीन एंड सब कुछ तो शायद नजरिया बदलना पड़ेगा शायद यू नो हमें अपने आप से सवाल करने पड़ेंगे कि ये क्या हम अपने आप से उम्मीद कर पाएंगे कि नहीं तो मैं आचल और विशाल कलांत्री को बेहद कंग्रेचुलेशंस देना चाहूँगा कि इन सब चीजों को वो आगे सामने ले आ रहे ह� क्योंकि कभी-कभी ऐसे होता है कि ऐसे बातें घर में बहुत एक बिटरनेस पैदा होता है उसमें तो ये नहीं होना चाहिए जितना खुल के बात कर सकते हैं आदमी और फैमिली उतना ही अच्छा है भविष्य के लिए तो बस मैं उनको 
बहुत बहुत हार्दिक शुभकामनाएं देना चाहूँगा कि ये ऐसे इंटरनेशनल वुमेंस डे पे ऐसे मुद्दों को उठा रहे और बाकी सबके हाथ में क्या बताएं कई बार क्या शादी के बाद मैन ओवर पावर करते हैं बहुत सही और दिक्कतें होती है जहाँ पे Yes, I think बहुत important है इस you know I'll speak in English please excuse me I think it's very important that we as women we as people not just men or women bring forward these thoughts. Because there is always, it's and it's not about uh, poverty. It's not about uh, you know wealth or any richness. It's all about how much knowledge you have, and how. My heart, and I wanted to share information on these subjects. And with um, Zayed and Malaika, you know, we we recently met them, and uh, we I fell in love with Mali, and I had a beautiful conversation with her about spirituality, life, and. I am very fascinated by this. Like she said, even my Instagram feed is only coaches, um, all about life, yeah. and that's all yeah, I see. I have no clue. Ambani wedding has happened and gone, yeah. and uh, I don't know what a lot. I have no idea who's wearing what, who's gone for which yeah. wedding. I'm clueless. I live in my own world. Yes, and I really, really wanted to have this conversation with them. And Zaid, I've known from my arts in motion days, and I remember that he had come to support the children for autism. At that time, and I, even back then, I was very, very impressed by his articulation and his thought process. And I'm so glad I invited you today because I'm taking home so much myself. But thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. मैं यही कहना चाहूँगी कि हमें as uh, as women, uh, knowledge is power. Knowledge is everything. हम सब करते हैं, हम सब कर सकते हैं. But we also there are a lot of stigmas we need to break. जैसे हमने एक freezing के बारे में बात करी, menopause के बारे में बात करी. A lot of young girls, a lot of women and older women who are young girls who are dealing family planning and older women who are undergoing menopause. ये बहुत सारी चीजें हैं जो हम अब अपने family में discuss नहीं करते या family अच्छा ये करना है अभी आपको अच्छा एक freezing करना है अच्छा menopause में you're going hormonal. But it is medical, it is scientific, it is not something that is just you know mood swings for us that are just coming from a temperament. And ये सब एक convey करना just so we have an understanding of where we are coming from and why we are doing what we are doing is very important to give this information. So इसलिए इस panel discussion का महत्व यही था कि information is everything in terms of. Thank you. I'm I'm so humble that I'm here today because. You are giving people the opportunity to hear many of us, you know, speak about everything that can happen behind the doors, you know, in front of us, and uh, don't let it affect your, um, you know, affect your courage. Don't let it affect your bravery, and keep striving and keep going because you know you can't make everyone happy. You will sure. upset someone along the way, and you know what. Um, your philosophy might not fit somebody else's and you know what it's okay we you know just carry on be strong it's not about you know one will say oh you, you you're privileged so you can say that it's not about that i see many a women you know um who empower themselves just by not feeling afraid fear you know fear factor don't don't be afraid it's okay you know have a voice. Yeah, uh, so finally, uh, you want to feel I'm so much for you, and how much women are motivated. You are so much. And also in terms of uh, literacy, financial literacy, <coughs> that a lot of us, uh, and I'm ashamed to say that I'm one of them. That as much as I have accomplished and built properties and done everything, I still lean on my father, my husband for investment uh, decisions.